If you are a multi-country Amazon seller or an advertiser, this new feature called multi-country advertising is going to save you a lot of time and it's going to help you reach a lot more customers around the world. You can start small and test it out and build your campaigns and expand things based on feedback and results. You will start seeing this feature or you're already probably seeing this feature in your ad console. So make sure after this video, guys, go and check it out and see, uh, test it out. So before I take you guys to the demo, let me just summarize a couple of things that you can expect from the feature. Number one is you would be able to manage your ads across multiple countries from one single account, just like we do with the listings in Europe or if you're selling in the US, we do it across Mexico, Canada, and etc. Number two, you would be able to see campaigns across different countries in one single campaign manager view. You would be able to download reports uh, across different countries in that same view, choose your preferred currency language. So it's very, very, you know, um, versatile. You can do whatever you want with those filters. There's a specific country filter available in the main campaign manager view now. Number three is Amazon is making it easier for you to localize your ads so the target audience can understand it in their own language. So that's something that would be really, really helpful for sellers based in US or UK when they are trying to sell products in Germany, France, um, you know, localize their ads in the the target country language. So a lot of localization is being made available through this feature that covers translations of the text of the video, the video ad, um, you know, keywords and their custom rankings and things like this. Amazon is going to make all this available to you without any cost. So sellers or advertisers life is easier and they can focus more on growing the business. But without further ado, let's go to my screen and I will share the demo with you now. Let's go. When you go into the multiple country view, um, the key thing you'll notice is, yes, you have your campaigns here and you'll see all your metrics. Uh, but what, you, what you'll see is um, you'll be able to still manage your campaigns, you know, marketing active, not active, changing end dates, the budgets, being able to, you can even filter by country. So you have a country filter based on what countries, you know, if, if I had to click Brazil, I'm sure I don't have any Brazilian ones, but it'll filter it based on the specific country. You could do all the other filtering that you can do with, um, the single country page. The the key thing I want to call out is the metrics and the budget, things of like of numerical metrics. They'll be in the currency of that country. So as you'll see in Australia, this is an Australian dollar, this is yeah. in Euro, and so forth. But you'll see a common um a common currency being applied across all these. And this will apply for your totals as well. If you have, for mm -hmm. example, cost per click, sales, and so forth. And that's based mm -hmm. on the currency of your choice. So you have multiple currencies that you can choose from. Um, so let's say I like Euro as my main currency. If I click on that, the page will refresh and now all my numerical values will be, again, it's the values that, uh, even if for the same country, you'll still see it. But for consistency, now you're going to start seeing in Euros and that's for like all your totals and so forth. So there's a common um, currency of preference. Um, the other yeah. thing that we... Um, are launching is the global reporting. So global reporting means is if I run a report in yeah. any country, right? Mm -hmm. um, then I will, and this is only for the campaign report, then I can yeah. run it, I can run, a, I sponsor products, sponsor brands or sponsor display campaign report. And it doesn't work yeah. across all three products. It's still individual per, per product type, but I can run it yeah. across the countries for that. Uh, so if you like clicked on create report, and yep. just showed us so, the view from there. Yep. You'll have all your countries that you can select from. Yeah. You can select all of them. They'll say all 16, yeah. correct? And you can add a currency conversion. What that does is it'll give you a side-by-side -side for any yes. numerical values. Again, any yeah. currency of your choice. Let me jump in real quick and show you what keyword localization would look like in action. So you will see the suggested keywords translated into target country language and in your own advertising console language too. So if it's in English for yourself and the target country is in German, you'll see both. And not just that, you will also see custom keyword ranking. So you will see your impression share for the suggested keywords plus your rank, which is a really cool feature. 
Amazon is also offering other advanced localization services like translation for your text and video. So it's available for sponsored brands, sponsored brand video, sponsored display campaigns, as well as stores, post and product detail page content. So this is already available in my UK art console. All you have to do is click on creative tools menu in your art console, click on translations and you land on this page and then you have two options. So you can translate your brand or product text for free or translate a video. OK, so you just click on this, translate your text and then you can just place your order. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it helps you start with multi-country advertising. Let me know in comments below what you guys think. If you have any questions, um, there is a link in description or in the comments below. And make sure you guys visit it and explore more. There is also a free guide available if you just search Global Advertising Amazon. Uh, you will come across this. I have put it up on the side so you can also find more information, case studies, optimization tips on how to use this feature and how it can help you grow your business. So that's all from me today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.